YouTube and welcome to this third part of Damascus night video making tada so it's been normalized twice I'm thinking uh, doing a third uh, normalization just because yeah getting stuff normal around here is very it's uncommon there is no normal um i worked on with the tip a little bit uh, after the video was ended the last time um just to see if i could save uh, the tip or not uh, i'm thinking not but i gave it a shot i was thinking that no matter what, uh, if this didn't work, I was gonna lose this part. If it did work, well, great. Um, so I've just been playing around with cleaning up uh, these cracks and stuff. So I'm thinking the worst part is this. And there's a a long something delaminated here I guess still haven't been hardened and <clears throat> or hardened and then there's a lot of little stuff showing but I'm thinking I should quench it uh, before I start grinding anything off it because it's not that thick so, and if it's gonna banana peel in five different directions, better it happens now than after I've been spending hours on grinding. So, just gonna normalize it once more, and then we're gonna dip it in some canola oil. It has to cool off before we do the next uh, step so I guess I better prepare some quench tank Looks great. But if it hardened, I don't know. And we're back from crunching. And I think it sounds right. No, it's not digging in. So, hand, and we didn't get a banana. I was, uh, I was uh, afraid of um, that it would simply just. 
peel apart. Um, even up here, it seems to have it's enlightened this. You can slightly see it, yes. But I had expected it to uh, make problems. This will still might have to go and everything, but for now we're ready to move on. And yeah. Now I have to uh, grind something. Um, nope, nope. I think we will find something better. So, today's uh, video is sponsored by me and this and you guys. Basically, what uh, what I've been spending here for the this view and uh, the angle grinder is I know it sounds stupid. I'm all new in this, uh, and I'm talking about YouTube money, and it's from my other channel, and I'm not doing fishing, so we might as well put them for good use somewhere. Sandpaper, a disc, a table thingy. Some screw thingies, more table stuff. I know this might not be ideal for uh, for knife making, but it was in my budget. It's 500 watts, so it should be uh, fairly uh, powerful. Well, bigger before I'm gonna grind more, I'm gonna temper this. Because as it is now, it's fully hardened. Just decided I wanted to try a different file just to make sure because this file is old and very fine. It doesn't have a lot of bite. So I took round file with stronger bigger teeth unhardened carbon steel digs right in make big marks and still skates on the Damascus blade Was there a soft spot here? I think it's okay. I hope it's okay. Now it's gonna go into the tempering uh, for two times one hour at 200 Celsius degrees. I'm not gonna show that, it's, it's seen that lots of times. Not from here, but it's an oven. Progress report. I got some new sandpaper. Oh, sanding belts. Um, 
the one I've been working with was 80 grit so got some 40 grit and the problem was uh, the store I went to uh, locally they didn't have very many grits to choose from so it's mainly um, pretty coarse uh, got some 40 grit uh, um, 100 grit and 180 uh, and then of course I have the 80 grit that came with it and I was able to get some 240 discs for the disc grinder so 240 grid is the finest for the machine and from there it's either work by hand or um, I would have to find, buy some, build some money. been uh, grinding away on the grinder and I started hand sanding um, yeah I'm not gonna I'm not gonna film my uh, I'm not gonna film the hand sanding because it's just back and forth motion uh, yeah we all know what it is if not, just watch somebody else make an knife and you will see hand sanding. So far, I've hand sanded with grid 400, or down to grid 400. So, next up is 600 and yeah. Then I think it's time to uh, 
reveal the pattern after a 600 grit. That's what they do on the internet, so that's what I'm gonna do. So, more hand sanding and then acid dipping. It's gonna be interesting. Before I can uh, dip this in ferric chloride, I have to mix it up because I can't buy a mixed um, ferric chloride in the strength that I want to where I live. Uh, again, I've mentioned before lots of registrations. Again, you can just buy it online, that's not a big problem. Um, and I figured why not just buy the salts and save the shipping because the rest of the mixture is just water and I have plenty of water in my tap. Um, but before we mix this, let's just talk safety just because I figure no, I haven't seen anybody talk about this and everybody talks about the uh, fair chloride and I guess many buy it uh, pre-mixed but mixing acids uh, contains some sort of uh, risk. I know this is the salt um, but it's still uh, corrosive and when we mix it to the water um, a chemical process uh, will happen and if you do that wrong shit can go really wrong. So protective gear. Um, I've removed my vest because it's synthetic. I'm only wearing cotton and my apron. Um, gonna wear protective glasses. If I had a face mask I would wear one uh, but I don't. So um, proper acid resistant uh, gloves. Mixing ferric chloride. 700 milliliters of water in the MLI flask, 100 milliliters left just to wash this and we're putting this in here to prevent a boil. If you put this in, let's say this container and you just pour the water in, you risk it uh, boiling over and stuff like that. At least that's in general working with acids that can happen. So I've never worked with this before, so I don't want to take the chance. We mix it correctly. Some yellow looking stuff. And everything has been dissolved, so I now have ferric chloride and it's ready to pour into the container where I'm going to do my dipping. At least I hope I have enough to, uh, to fill it and dip my knife. We will see. If not, I will have to find a more narrow container.
two. The knife has been cleaned for fingerprints and it's been hand sanded to 600 grit. And yeah, now we're gonna dip it in the ferric chloride. Or at least I'm gonna try to see if all the blade can fit in there. Well, just about. I think it's okay. I'm gonna leave it there for, I don't know, I think every 10 minutes, but I'm just gonna check up on that and then come back. So Google says 5 to 15 minutes, but also said that I should heat that up to 40, 45 Celsius degrees. I haven't done that. Oops. I don't know, um, I'm sure it will still uh, etch and eat away some metal um, even though it's not heated up and heating it up will making it more effective indeed. I think I'll just give it uh, 10 minutes and we will see how it uh, turns out. So time's up. So, this will be interesting. Just uh, washing it in uh, water first, and, and I'm gonna neutralize it. And you've all seen uh, Fortune Fire, and they neutralize it with these uh, window products and. Well, I took a look of it and window cleaner is not window cleaner. Um, so this Ajax one has a pH of 2.4, so basically it's acid. This cheap, cheap, no name window cleaner, pH 10.5, basic. This will neutralize. I think it will need to um, go into some coffee because have a little bit of a hand sanding but it has definitely etched looking fine so so far so good, it worked also at lower temperature, at least when it's uh, fresh and just mixed. It's now been uh, hand sanded with yeah, up to 1200 grit. And yeah, now it's gonna go into a cup of coffee. So, instant coffee. There's a nice pattern on the spine as well.